Hello, I'm Dr. Rob Hicks and welcome to Doctor's Orders here at the Chrissy B Show. Today, I'd like to talk with you about keeping your skin healthy. Now, if I asked you which is the largest organ in the body, you may say, oh, it's the liver, or you may say, oh, it's the lungs. But in reality, the largest organ of the body is our skin. Laid out flat, on average, it's about two square meters in area. And it takes about up, around about 15% of our body weight is made up of our skin. Our skin is a phenomenal piece of kit. Not only does it protect us from the environment, from weather, from infections and from injury, it protects the organs from being injured as well, but also it's involved in regulating body temperature. That's why the skin has so many sweat glands. And also, in response to exposure to sunlight, the skin makes vitamin D. Vitamin D is of course very important for us in absorbing calcium that we need to keep our bones strong and our teeth strong. So what are the signs then that your skin may not be quite as healthy as it could be? Well, things to look out for is dryness, flaking skin, itchy skin, weeping skin, red skin. All these indicate that there may be a problem with the skin. And common conditions that affect the skin are eczema, psoriasis and acne. So what is it then that damages the skin? Well, there are two major culprits. Overexposure to UV radiation, that's sunshine essentially, sunlight, damages the skin, causes wrinkles, prematurely ages the skin, and importantly, increases a person's risk of skin cancer, notably the most dangerous form of skin cancer called malignant melanoma. The other thing that really does harm to our skin is smoking. It damages the elasticity of the skin, which means we get wrinkled and saggy skin that looks far older than our years. It prematurely ages the skin. And other things that contribute to problems with our skin, not enough liquid, poor diet, and stress. Stress is a very common reason why our skin may not have that usual healthy glow. What are we going to do then to look after our skin, to keep it in tip-top shape and looking great? Well, certainly we need to give it the liquids it needs, just like any other part of the body, the skin needs fluid. So around about six to eight glasses of fluid a day. A healthy diet packed with fruit and veg so that it gets the vitamin C that it needs. Vitamin E is another important nutrient for the skin. When you do go in the bath or the shower, make sure that the water is warm, not hot, because hot water will dry out the skin. And when you do come out of the shower, pat the skin dry rather than rubbing it dry with a towel because that will cause less irritation of the skin and apply a moisturizer while the skin is still damp and you do that because that helps lock moisture in the skin keeping it supple and healthy which is actually what you want when you do apply the moisturizer apply it in the direction of the hairs not against the direction of the hairs and of course it goes without saying that if you're going to protect your skin in the long term you know, protect it from too much sunlight by using a sunscreen with SPF of at least 15. And do I need to tell you this? Probably not, but I'll just remind you anyway. Don't smoke. Now, if you've got any problems with your skin, you're a little bit concerned of redness or flaky or, or itching, or maybe you've seen a change in one of your moles, don't hesitate to go and seek your doctor's advice and get it checked out. And that's Doctor's Orders.